What's up guys, my name's Karin, and today I'm going to guys on one of the most sought after Rolexes of all time. That is going to be the Rolex Panda Daytona, reference number 116500. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like the subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and give my videos to show more people. And also if you guys are looking to buy anything, sell anything, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at Karin.Langley and I'll be happy to help you guys there. But with that said, let's get right into the review. Alright guys, so just before I begin showing you guys the watch up close and breaking down some of the smaller details, I want to go over the retail costs as well as the market value. This watch is currently still being manufactured, but the wait list is one of the longest out of any Rolex references out there. It's going to be about six years-ish, and in that time you're going to fall off the wait list. But the retail cost on this is going to be about $13,000. It's going to be $13,150 USD, which really isn't too bad for a Rolex. But because of the demand for this watch, the market value is going to be somewhere around $37,000 USD. And that keeps going up and up and up as these seem to be more and more in demand as the days go by. But getting past that, this watch is going to have a 40 millimeter case, which is honestly the perfect size for me. I always love the 40 millimeters and the 41 millimeters. It's going to be made of oyster steel and it's going to have a screw down case back as well as a winding crown. So here's the crown right here. You're going to twist it and pull it out once and that will allow you to wind the watch. You pull it out again and that will allow you to change the time. And then right here, um, since it's a chronograph, you guys will have the ability to start the timer right here, which will make the seconds hand go around in obviously the 60 minute motion. And then pressing this button right here, you guys will have the ability to reset it. And obviously we're gonna have the ceramic black bezel, which I absolutely love and is a lot more scratch resistant than the previous versions of the Daytona. And it's also gonna have a scratch resistant sapphire crystal. So the ceramic bezel and the sapphire crystal makes it very, very scratch resistant. But obviously with the oyster steel bracelet, you guys will have to worry about scratches, especially on the center links, but that's gonna happen with any watch. And obviously the gold watches are gonna be a lot more vulnerable to those scratches as gold gets scratched up a lot easier. But obviously you guys can polish that out for very cheap, but I recommend that you guys don't polish these watches too much as it does lower the value and you guys still can over polish a watch. And this watch is also going to be waterproof. It's going to be waterproof for 100 meters or 330 feet, making it a watch that you guys should feel very, very comfortable wearing in the water, whether it be a swimming pool or at the ocean if you guys are going on a vacation. Um, and it is going to be a self winding watch with a 72 hour power reserve. So I usually switch through watches, so the power reserve really doesn't matter to me. Um, but that just means 72 hours at rest, meaning that you're not really wearing this watch. It will pause its time. And you guys will have to wind it up. I recommend and winding it about 15 times ish that's what i was recommended um and then once you do that you set the time and it'll be good for another three days and then like i already mentioned it's going to have that oyster steel bracelet so i'll make sure to show you guys that up close right here and the display on this watch is going to be luminescent meaning you guys can see on the hands right there it has a luminescence right there and also on the markers you guys will see the luminescence right there making it so that whether it's daytime or nighttime you guys are still able to see the time no matter what and the luminescence is not going to be something bright it's just something that you guys can see when you guys are focusing on the watch it's not something that it's going to stand out and a lot of people around you probably won't notice it unless they're really looking for it but it is a great feature and i do love having the ability to see the time even when it's dark outside but here's how the watch is gonna look on wrist. Obviously very, very good looking, very, very standout, and also very recognizable. Anyone that's into watches will recognize this watch from a mile away, as it has the chronograph look with the panda face, making it one of the most recognizable watches and also one of the best looking in my opinion. You guys can see the crown right there on the bracelet, on the Oyster Steel bracelet, um, and then obviously the center link is gonna be more reflective, making it a little bit more prone to scratches, but you guys can be very careful with this watch and keep it looking clean like I have thus far. The scratches that are on this watch so far aren't too deep because I do take very good care of it and I recommend that you guys are very careful, especially when you guys are setting your hand down so you guys don't get the bottom part scratched up because that is the part that usually gets scratched up first on these watches. But you guys can see from the side right there how the case looks. Obviously this is a 40 millimeter and my wrist is very, very average. Um, I took two links off of this watch, which is usually what people tend to do with these watches. If you're only taking off one link, then obviously you have a bigger wrist and no links, you have an absolutely huge wrist. But let me know what you guys think of this watch. Let me know what other watches you guys want to see on my channel, any 
designer items as well. I know I review kind of half and half between Rolexes and Louis Vuitton, and I do like to throw a couple other items in there as well. But let me know what else you guys want to see. I do want to bring you guys exactly what you guys want, but I can't do that unless you guys let me know. So give me any feedback on my videos, give me other any other video ideas that you guys might have, and let me know what you guys think of this watch. And if you guys are at this point in the video, make sure to like, subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel, get my video show more people. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.